in more advanced physics and mathematics. Angles are frequently measured in radians rather than degrees. To explain, we'll start by drawing a circle and then finding the centre of that circle and from that drawing a radius. We'll draw in a second radius and then we'll move that so that it forms a chord across the circle. Then drawing in a radius to meet the end of that chord. The triangle formed has three equal sides. It's an equilateral triangle and therefore all of the angles within it are 60 degrees. But suppose we take that chord and bend it so that instead of being a straight line it curves around the circle. As a consequence the end of the chord, the right hand end here, is slightly short of the radius we drew. If we move that radius across so that it touches the end of this white arc, which remember has the same length of one radius, then the angle at the centre of the circle is rather less. It is now one radian. That is slightly less than 60 degrees. It's actually equal to about 57.296, that's to three decimal places. Since the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r, it follows then that there must be 2 pi radians in a whole circle. That is that 2 pi radians is equal to 360 degrees. Thank you for watching.